Shall we begin? When we talk about putting grips, there's actually a million putting grips to choose from. There's cack handed, there's the claw, there's the belly putters, there's the broomstick putters. There's many ways you can hold a putter and obviously there's different types of putters. So of course it's going to vary a lot. If you're looking for a stock standard putting grip, um, something that's very common is if you've got a standard length 35 inch normal putter, probably one of the most common grips is if we just let our left hand hang opposite our left leg and drop the putter into it, keep the shaft straight and the putter face straight so don't let it turn in or turn out and don't grab it like on an angle, okay, let it be straight with a putter face square, you'll find that your thumb runs pretty much straight down the centre of the shaft, okay. Really that's pretty close to having your left hand in a correct position. Okay, you can bring it in front of your body, right, and now if you want to connect your right hand, just lift the putter up, place your right hand straight on top of the shaft with yet again the thumb straight down the shaft pointing towards the blade of the putter. Make sure the blade's still square, don't let it be hooded, okay. Once you've got the hands in those two positions, so you've basically got thumbs straight down either part of the shaft, I want you to do two things for me. I want you to lift the pointer off on your left hand and I want you to lift the pinky off on your right hand. Okay, with those two fingers off the golf club, you now can slide your hand together until they hit and they'll hit in this manner here, okay, and these two little fingers rest on top of the hand, okay. What this basically does is get the two hands working together as a unit, okay, as opposed to having separate hands where they can flip around a little bit. The other thing that once we grip it, lifting off the, the two little fingers and sliding them together does, is the pointer on your left hand kind of braces on top of the club here and gives you that feeling that this hand is one unit in itself working towards the hole, not wanting to break down. So this little finger is I guess a stabiliser in a lot of ways across the top of those other little fingers. So as we're doing it, we've now pretty much got a stock standard putting grip. Now as I said, there's a million different grips to choose from out there. This is just one that's really, really common and it's also pretty handy in that your hands start to work as a unit in a putting stroke as opposed to separate. So, checkpoints, opposite your left leg, thumb straight down, bring it back out in front of you, put your right hand on, before you bring them together, pull your pointer off on your left hand, pinky off on your right hand, slide them together, okay, and then rest them back over your hands in such a manner. Once we do that, the thumbs point straight down the shaft and we're good to go.